In this video we're just going to uh, look at how to start off mining Feathercoin. Um, it's a complete beginner's guide. Um, it should be up and running in, in probably less than five minutes. So first thing, if you head over to feathercoin.com uh, and download the Windows client just here. And other things we're going to need to do. Um, we're going to download uh, another piece of software for actually mining. Um, and this piece of software is called GUI Miner. So we're just going to Google for GUI Miner and then space script here with a Y. And um, the very first link that pops up, if you click on this, and then just download here from one of the mirrors. Uh, so we'll get started with those straight away. So the um, the feather coin one that we downloaded. We run that and it will it will load up the wallet for us. Now the wallet is where all of your uh, coins will be collected uh, after you've mined them and you can keep them here before you want to send them on somewhere else perhaps to sell them or to trade them. Um, so what will happen is when this loads up it'll build up more connections here in the corner um, slowly and then once it's done that it'll start to download what's called the blockchain which are all of the coins uh, or the blocks that have been found already and that'll take a little while to, to process through but we can carry on while it's doing that. Um, what we'll need to get out of here is that you've got an address here under Receive Coins. This is where um, coins are sent to, so we, we need to actually copy this address because um, we're going to use that. Now we can see now at the bottom the blocks have started downloading now, and that'll take a little while, but we can just leave it going. So we'll copy this address for receiving coins, and then we're going to register. Uh, on another site here called Coinatron. So it's just at coinatron.com and this is a, a mining pool so we're going to basically be working together with other people um, to be able to mine. So we register for an account here um, very quickly which I'll just do. registered we can click on the sign in button here um, and then we can log in okay so what we need to do first on here we need to take that address that we copied for the payout address and we just paste it here um, we say after how many coins we want it to pay out so we'll just set 10 coins for now it's going to pay out and we'll save that. And then the last thing to do is that we add a worker. Now the worker is basically something we're going to use in the mining program. So it'll be your username, dot, and then something else. So I'll just put dot one. Password doesn't really matter, so I'll just put an X. And um, so we want to mine feather coins, um, paper share. So we click add here. So that work has been added and we'll make sure we save that piece. Okay, so now that that's all set up, next thing to do is to go to our GUI miner that we had before. And this is the program here for doing our mining. And what we want to do with this one, um, let me just get rid of all my previous ones in here. So it'll look kind of like yours. So it'll be blank to start with, or it may just have one already in there. So the first thing we want to do is to go File, New Miner. And the first one we want is this bottom one, a Stratum Proxy. So we put this one in. I'll just call it a Stratum for now. It doesn't matter what you call it. Um, and all we put in here is coinatron.com and a port 3337. And that's it. We can start that now, and you'll see a minute proxy connected. So we're now connected to Coinatron um, as we were before. So all we now need to do is to create a new miner. We're going to create a Reaper miner here. Now we'll call this miner, uh, we'll just call it Miner1. Okay, and we can see that just here. Now, 
Um, you can see on here there's actually some instructions. If we're using what's called a, a stratum proxy here, then this is what we connect to. So in the host is local host. You can see the port there is 8332. The username, now this is the one that we had for the worker before. So mine was my username dot one. Password I just put as X. And I can always check that back here. Mining video dot one password X. Okay, so what you'll then see is that your graphics card will appear in here, depending on which graphics card you've got. This machine actually has two um, AMD 7950 um, in them. Just to, to make a point as well with this actually, if, if you're trying to do this on, on, on an NVIDIA card or on your CPU, then it, it's not going to be profitable for you. You may as well not bother. Um, it really does need to be an ATI or an AMD uh, graphics card to work properly on this. Um, so with this one here, there's actually some defaults down here already. So this is a 7950, so I can choose 7950. And it's giving me some settings straight away. I would change the intensity down to 18, otherwise it just gets a little bit noisy and a little bit hot. Okay, so that's all now set. We'll save the settings. So we've got our proxy is connected. And then we can click start. it is now mining for us okay and that speed will build up and obviously depending on which card you have it'll it'll run at different speeds and so it slowly builds up there now what will be happening then uh, with this as this goes on um, I'll refresh this in a minute it takes a little minute to sort this out but it'll tell us how quickly we're running here It'll tell us how many coins we're gonna make each day um, and then it tells us our rewards here you can see when this one reaches 10, it's going to send those 10 coins over here to our wallet for us. Um, what we can then do with those coins, we can take them, but well, obviously you can sit on them at the moment because they're going to be worth a lot more soon. Um, but you could take them to other sites as well, um, over to some of the exchanges here uh, where you can actually trade in um, these coins uh, and, and, and change them for cash if you want to. Um, but very, very simple to get started, get set up. Uh, that one's slowly picking up a little bit more speed there. Let me refresh this page. Yeah, it's not started picking it up yet. It'll take a little minute before it, uh, before it does come through on there, but then it'll tell us. Um, what we're doing, but but very simple to get set up, and and literally you can be you can be set up and running in five minutes, and all of these coins that you create you can change for cash, so very easy way of making money.